Rest in peace, big rat. Louis Batu. People expect me to film, so I'm gonna do that. I got an older guys right here. One of the older homies right there, Swanee Fly. From Villains. Oh yeah, rat. APUU. Hoover Street. The sign to my back though, man. Uh, so th this ain't a picture, this is an interview, man. So 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 how, how you how you know rat, man? What what happened to you and rat? How you meet him? Well I came across the brother in, in Solid Dad and us playing ball, us being G unit. And was he on was he on y'all squad? Mm -hmm. He was a rival. He was, I don't know the name yeah, of that squad. But it all, it all started yeah, with the ball. I don't even know the name of that squad either. I remember that they oh, called them. You, you, you was playing basketball too? Yeah, this was football. Oh, football. Yeah, yeah. This, oh, they oh, was, yeah. Uh, we took Big Rat was part of, he was part of Big C in the West Side Line. Big C in the <laughs> West Side Line. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> Running people down. Yeah, I used to stand on the line and say, man, I think God and Jesus is on my team. Because they was killing them little corners on the side. I'm like, man, they smashing them. Yeah, shit, man. All right, so that's a good experience, man. Anything else about uh, Big Lou, man? What kind of dude was he? He's a good dude, man. He was always a good dude. Always. A gentle giant. Yeah. Smart, good guy. Didn't push his weight around. Always had wisdom. He was always, that's what I mean. He was always speaking wisdom. He'd say a little something, and I'd be like, damn, man. That, yeah, that's that's some real stuff right there. Uh -huh. Any, any, any uh, last thoughts? Last thoughts is through him we all standing here now in a positive way on a whole nother yard, right. the Freedom Yard, and we all out here making a difference in our community. So, yes, hey, we got to give it up for the brother for bringing us together. The circumstance may not be how we want, but hey, here we are. Yeah, something y'all said earlier about the family, the family in there that was created. That's the family out here. We are on network. Yeah. Right. We, we watch out for each other. From jobs, from, yeah. Right. We are you know, our own support system. Most definitely. Right. So them little soups and spreads are carried on to, hey, man, I got a contact with a job. Or, you know, you want to get a career going? Hey, little man got, got the reach back, second call, got the thing, you know what I mean? We got the urban saddles. You know, we have different nonprofits that's helping it get, get it to a higher level. Yes, indeed. And we had, when he came home, he started APUU, just like he told a lot of people he was going to do when he was in there. Yeah. 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 Spoke it into existence. Yes, indeed. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for that. Yeah. All right. Man. Nah, just tell me your name, man. Jamel Oliver, man. All right, so look, um, you just told me you gave me the rundown of all the stuff you was doing. Getting it done, knocking these, checking these boxes, man. Yes, Tell me sir. a little bit about that. What you got going? Man, I got my Ocean 30, my 510, my 511, my CPR. And I came to y'all when I first came home from prison after doing 11 years. And rap plugged me with you. And right. Big John. I respect that. Y'all trying to help me leave me the right way. I got into another union. I still came back and still trying to do some business with y'all still. You was like, man, just get your other class, you good. And I salute y'all for that. Hey, hey that's sure, that's sure. networking, man. And Big Rat sent you, right? Yes, sir. All right, because I appreciate of. you, man. Yeah, All right, man. It's tough. That's me, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, Rat was uh, we, we we put together a team of security with the label. You know, they had some guys that used to go out with us, and I'm like, look, I got some homies, you know, that y'all can hire that I know gonna be ready in case you know something go on. So long story short, you know, we put a team together. It was Cue Ball, Mike, Mike, uh, Scotty, rest in peace. That's little Dirt Rock. And then it was rap, you know. So we would travel, and the the, the CEO of the label, he he loved. He was just a flamboyant type of individual. Uh, he worked for Universal, but his name was Mike McCann. He loved to wear jewelry, million dollar. He just had jewelry on, so that's why they wanted this type of security for uh, this gentleman. So, you know, rap would you know we would we would go places. We'd be at the W Hotel or whatever we would go when he come in town. You know, we would travel. And Rat developed a relationship, and I spoke on this at the, uh, I'm just reiterating, uh, reflecting on it. He developed a relationship with who we all know as Steve Urkel, who was uh, Jalil White, you know, because he was the nephew of the guy that we were signed to. So every time we would be in places, Jalil White would come with us. And uh, Rat was like, hey, that's, that's Steve Urkel. But he said it so loud, you know, that, 
you know, he turned around because this dude had a little uh, complex. He didn't like people calling him Steve Urkel, you know, and then people start eh, eh, doing a little thing, so he would get offended, you know. So I'm like, that's Steve Urkel, and I'm like, yeah, man, that, that's him. That's your little white, you know. But uh, so him and Rap would always talk, man. I would look to the side and they'd be talking 30, 45 minutes, and then he would come back and he like, man, that that dude really did 23 years in prison. Yeah, he did that. 23 years in prison. He was a lifer. And he came home, and here he is sitting next to Steve Urkel. <laughs> you know, who would have thought? You know, but again, it just takes me back to my relationship when rap would have conversations with me. Like, Tuck, you got to change what you rap about. I know you're from the set, you're from the community, but you got too much talent to only rap about that. You got to change that. You know, and these are the conversations that he would have with me, big homie to little homie. Get in, Yerk. Get in, Yerk. Get in, Yerk. Go ahead, you get in too, man. Matter of fact, Swanee Fly, you gotta get in there too, man. That's how you do it. You take this YA all the way back. All the way back. All the way back. I wasn't in YA with y'all, though. You run that age, though. Good thing. Alright, so I got, look, I got two pictures, but I'm also recording this, man. What is this, man? What? This is this is man, what, what it is. Well, I, I, what it is is I talk to you. I talk to you on 103rd Street. I talk to him. He be on 84th Street. He be on 52nd, 55th, and all them. And then you you and yeah, but on the other side. And then every time I talk to you, you over at uh, at the at the South Park, and, and, and you be everywhere. But you come off one of them 50 streets too, right? So y'all tell me what this is, man. This East Side Love. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, it's a real East Side, nigga. Yeah, that's show. Real East Side, right here, right? And you better believe it. All right, I got it. All right, appreciate it. Okay, don't get paranoid. Tell me what we doing here, brother. Let me turn around so the sun behind me. What we doing here, man? Oh uh, man, we playing homage to one of our West Side brothers, the big rap from Five Nine Hoover, man, who paid the way for peace components of his community on the West Side. Um, I had the opportunity to work with him with APUU and bridge that East Side West Side gap, man. So I just came out here. Not only to pay homage, you know, I brought my brother Carl, who's from the H2, you know, uh, representation of him, just supporting both sides and let him know, man, we, we got, he got love from the east to the west side. So we, we, we definitely got to show this camaraderie. His homeboys need to see us over here. There's some people that don't understand it that's over here. But today might be that day they wake up and say, okay, let me, let me, let me do better. The big homie did better. Let me be that person to do better. And make some make some changes in my life, man. Because this east, this east and west don't 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 divide us. It's supposed to unite us and empower us, man. So that's what we're trying to do, man. Show the big homie some love and send him home. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about the fight? Was there a fight up here? No, nah, not at all. Well, there was an argument, though, right? No, nah, you know, we, we black folk. We talk loud. It sounds like <laughs> But fight, ain't no buddy. fight and ain't it's no argument. Up, ain't that something, man? Yeah, and you know where we at, right? right? Who was the day out of the You know where we at, too, right? Yeah, we over here in the uh, neighborhood. Inglewood. Right. Inglewood neighborhood, right? Yeah. Ain't no arguing. Ain't no fighting. Nah, ain't nobody standing across the, across the street with a, in a car with a gun waiting. None, None of that. that. None of that, because man. Because we, we, we learned how to do the work, man, and we thank Skip for, for doing his part. What's up, man? And reaching out to some cats and making sure we got the LTOs over here. Yes, sir. You know, because it's all about them LTO, not them watered down LTO. Don't get, don't get me knocked out in your hood. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. It's all love, man. We gonna miss Rat and his, his, his portion of what he did for this movement, man. And we just gotta carry that legacy. And from the looks of it, his son's gonna carry that torch. Yes, sir. And his nephew. Man, I appreciate it, man. Yes, Thank you for that. Yes, yes sir. sir. Somewhere over there. We finna use the body. Oh, you want me to tell her?